Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So today I have with me the Poulet Victorique de Blois from the anime Gothic. So I think someone on the French group was looking for like picture or information about this doll like a few weeks back. So I said I was going to make a review of her because I have her in her stock version. But uh, it took me kind of a while to get to this video. As you have seen, uh, I haven't been like uploading as usual like as usually as I'm used to so hopefully uh, that's going to be solved pretty soon and I'm going to have like more uh, videos coming up so anyway uh, this is Victorique de Blois she is from the anime Gothic which is based on a short novel uh, it's actually kind of a series I have the three first book in that series it's kind of interesting uh, she is basically a little girl who is called the grey wolf because uh, her mother and sister are kind of uh, from this wolf story and basically uh, our father kind of got her mother and created her so that he could have something he could control because she is supposed to be like very smart and she is also supposed to be able to a prediction of the future but the thing is I think she is more like um, Sherlock Holmes type so she is going to see things that other people don't see and be able to like take conclusion about it so in the anime series you have this Japanese guy who arrive in this small uh, kingdom in the center of Europe and he is going to be friend with her so you have Kujo and Victoric and basically he is going to help her through her adventures because she is like a brother is a detective but he's not as good as she is so a brother she is going to like solve the mysteries for her brother for a while until she has to solve like her home mysteries um so it's kind of interesting and I really like the anime, so when I saw those dolls, I actually got them from, um, like, it's a se sort of second-hand store, I guess, but it's, like, more of a, like, they, they don't have used stuff. It's, like, a sort of second-hand store, because they, I don't think they get their doll from Groove, because they only have very limited amount of doll, and, like, special deals and I think it's the same like they have a few Azon dolls sometimes but it's just like one or two and you need to be there at the right time to get them and they are actually not used so basically they are mint in box so I don't know like how that store actually works but anyway I went to that store one day and I saw that they had four poly box and one of them was like the Victoric and Kujo and they were actually sold together as a deal so they had like the Nella and uh, Johan like retro memory together as a deal and they also had uh, Victoric and Kujo at the, like the, in the same thing so you basically had to buy both if you wanted to buy them so I got those two I also got the Nella and Johan because they are kind of very hidden, so you need to like check for them on the shelf very high. And like they have such a lot of things on the shelf, it's kind of interesting to go there and really like look for something. So anyway, so I got uh, her at a like normal price when she was already sold out and like quite expensive online. And I haven't seen her much um, after that at all even online so I'm very happy to have her anyway so let me zoom on her and I'm going to show her to you from close up so here is Victoric so you can first see that she has what I call the anime eye shape with those uh, white dots inside so she has a sort of gray green eyes I'm not really sure of the color actually like you can see the line here uh, she has like a white line, but underneath she has a small green line and her eyes are a little bit grey underneath. So she has a, like a very soft face up, kind of neutral. She has like 
lot of little eyelashes. She look a little bit sad, I guess. Because at first in the anime she's kind of lonely and like she doesn't have friends because people are scared of her. So I think she look a bit sad and I think that's accentuated by the like shape of the big eyelash here. So she has a point going up and she has also the point going down. Same, she has like two little points here at the corner. But she also at the same time looks really sweet. Uh, she has like a small blush on her cheeks. It's kind of an orange tone of blush. And she has some sort of pink orange lips. I think she's really beautiful. And I think like they made a really good job with that face up. Then she comes with her princess haircut. So she has like the bang at the front. It's very thick wig. You can see it's like a lot of hair here. So she has a bang at the front. She has bang on the side. And then she has like the long, 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 long hair. Uh, she also has super long hair in the anime. So that is like really, like really good that they did that. And then they give like very long hair to her too. And like her hair is like really long and flat. Sometimes she makes bread out of them in the anime. But anyway. Then she comes with, I think that's the um, look of the uniform at that school. So you have like this piece on top, which is black with this all those uh, fabric on the side, which is folded to make this shape. And it's attached like around her neck under her shin by a ribbon. And then she comes with this dress in black. So the thing is, in the anime, she loves fashion kind of, and she has like a lot of very beautiful and colorful dress. So I don't know how I feel about this dress so much. She doesn't wear it all that much. Um, but So it's not like a trademark of her, but I think it's okay. So it's like a black dress all the way down with a gray highlight. So you have like the belt around her waist. You have this piece that goes down. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's probably just decorative piece. And you have the like folded fabrics you at the bottom. And then you have like a gray highlight here at the kind of fake color because it's like she, she's still wearing the dress here. So it's just like all in one piece. And she has sleeves with little button decoration. It's like beads and the white ribbon and the white uh, lace at, around her wrist. And she also has a lace around her neck. And like the, the black fabric here, I don't know if you can see so well, it's folded to make some sort of shape and design. And like at the back, um, so her belt is attached at the back with a velcro, so you can like untie that belt very easily. And it's like finished with this uh, big grey bow. So I don't know, let me check. Yeah, the dress is in one piece, so you have the velcro for the dress here. And you still have like the design at the back of the sort of fake huge color here. And then, so underneath her, her dress, she has this uh, tulle part. So it's like made of tulle and you have like, it's kind of a soft tulle part. So you have the small one and underneath you have a bigger one, which is finished by less all around. And she is wearing also white tight. It's like sort of transparent white tight fabric and she has little boots which are pretty easy to take care of because they're like the cut at the back so you can take them out very easily but they stay in her feet so you have like the boots with the little heels and it is like just plain one color but you have the like buckle decoration on the plastic so 
kind of like typical of Groove, basically. And I guess that's it for this doll, guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me your comment in the comment section below and give me a thumb up. You can also share the video uh, if you have friends who want to see that or if you're in some groups, you can always share my videos. And uh, let me know what you think about this doll and about like the anime. Did you watch the anime? Did you try to read the novel? Uh, it's not, I don't think it has been translated, um, at least not in novel form, I'm not sure. But anyway, so let me know what you think about this. Um, I wish the anime had been a little bit longer, actually. That you uh, like because it's kind of like she could have continued to solve mystery later. And if you've seen it, you you probably know what I mean. Anyway, so uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have her? Do you want her? Uh, is is she like one of your anime doll? Uh, because the group is making a lot of anime dolls, so is she like on your top list of anime dolls, or do you prefer, for example, Sailor Moon or Rosen Maiden or Utena? Anyway, a um, lot of lot to discuss. So if you want to like talk to me about anything, just leave it in the comment section below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye.